Goku is imprisoned by the gods of destruction from the past. Goku's true power can be sealed. What is happening? Planet Beerus. Goku had carried out his training alongside Beerus and Whis for two years in a row, while Gohan and Vegeta carried out their training directly in the time chamber. The Z warriors were no longer the same until the moment Beerus says, Goku, let's see what will happen. Looks like you're finally ready. Goku watches and speaks. What are you talking about, Sir Beerus? I'm ready for what? I'm sure that now I manage to get much stronger, no matter what enemy comes to fight me, I'll be victorious. But what do you mean by that? Now am I ready? At that moment, Beerus says, The real threat will arrive now, and you will be Goku's target for sure. Alright partner, why don't you whack that like button if you're enjoying the video, and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any videos and stay connected to our entire universe of the Z Warriors. Without further ado, let's get back to the point. Planet Beerus. The moon seemed to be in a controversial direction. We says, It seems that within this galaxy, we are seeing a full moon, which is quite complex, since on the planet Beerus, the moon couldn't stay that way. It is said that when the moon is like this, the constellations end up crossing each other, and that is when the celestial gate can be opened. I think the real enemies are close to arrive. At that moment, Goku didn't understand anything that was happening. Goku says, Mr. Whis, I managed to master the full Ultra Instinct now, and you told me that after I managed to show this transformation, no one else would be able to defeat me. So it doesn't make sense that some threat can stop me now. Whis responds, Lord Goku, you are quite powerful indeed. But here we are talking about enemies who fought in the past and caused great problems even for Zenosama. You may have remembered that Sir Beerus once said that in the old days Zenosama's powers were much greater. But for a certain reason they had to be sealed when the 18 of the universes that existed were attacked and 6 ended up having to be erased. These six universes were considered to be the most powerful universes where the gods of destruction had great battle ability. So here we will be able to really understand which enemies will appear. Mr. Beerus knows them very well. At that moment, Beerus begins to observe and says, Goku, I need you to fight me now. Goku doesn't understand why Beerus is challenging him. Goku says, But why this now, Sir Beerus? And I don't need to test my powers. After all, Vegeta learned his full training using Ultra Ego, so it doesn't make much sense for me to end up showing something like that. Come on, let's take it easy. At that moment, Beerus starts attacking Goku. Goku dodges with his Ultra Instinct and Beerus activates his Ultra Ego form. Goku starts to smile and says, I don't know what you're planning, Sir Beerus, but if you really want to fight, then come on. At that moment, Goku activates his second stage of Ultra Instinct, which makes We smile and be impressed by the skill that Goku is showing. Goku starts to land several blows on Beerus. Beerus starts laughing and says, Well done, Goku. It means that you are managing to fight on an equal footing with me. But what would you say if you had to fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with all my race, the true warrior race? Goku is startled and receives a blow from Beerus. Goku deactivates his transformation and says, What are you talking about, Sir Beerus? An entire race of powerful beings like you? That would be crazy. In fact, if we stop to think about it, it would be something more complicated than even fighting the entire race of Saiyans. That couldn't happen. We starts laughing and says, This is the thousandth year after the sealing of the six gods of destruction. Surely the six gods of destruction are alongside the six angels that existed in these universes. For some reason, the moon is in a totally different shape. They will come back. One of those universes that was erased by Zenosama was the universe of Lord Beerus himself. Goku is startled and says, But how could this have happened? Is Sir Beerus not of this universe? Whis continues talking. 
In Lord Beerus's universe, the race of beings was the warrior race. Mr. Beerus was a prodigy being, but his father and his brother, others of his brothers were extremely powerful and were regarded as beings that could end up destroying anyone. But other than that, still the angels and the other gods of destruction possessed astronomical fighting power that maybe if they were combined, the powers of all these six universes could have more strength even than the high priest and all other beings that existed there. We will need to analyze everything and understand the situation. Can you pay enough attention to this, Mr. Goku? A new battle may indeed be appearing and being created right now. An explosion on the planet Beerus occurs. Everyone is scared. An evil being appears within the planet Beerus. Beerus is startled and speaks. Looks like it went the same way I thought. So that means you managed to get here before I thought. Beerus seemed to know the mysterious being. At that moment, Goku says, Who is this guy? The unknown being begins to laugh and in a few moments in the palace of Zenosama, the great priest is faced with the angels and the gods of destruction from the past. A new battle begins, planet Earth. Gohan and Vegeta leave the time room. Gohan after reaching his final form too and Vegeta having mastered the Ultra Ego feel a great energy. Vegeta says, Hey, son of Kakarot, you really are showing extremely high skills. It amazes me. But still, you haven't gotten over me. Gohan starts laughing and says, Don't count so much advantage, Sir Vegeta. I managed to show extremely high powers. I'm sure if you had fought Cell Max, you wouldn't have been able to defeat him so easily. Don't discredit my powers. Every time I can get stronger. After all, I am the prodigy of Universe 7. Gohan and Vegeta sense a beam of energy light years away from Earth. Gohan says, You notice this energy comes from the planet Beerus and it's definitely not my father. Vegeta begins to analyze. It's happening with Kakarot. It's not making much sense. It looks like some other battle is being created here. We'll have to analyze. Planet Beerus. Beerus is thrown away by the unknown presence. The unknown presence, he says, Beerus, we have no problem with you here. Our problem is directly with this Saiyan. You without your race completely, you are nothing. You are just a powerful being. But the race of this Saiyan is a little more complicated because we have several Saiyans existing here in the world. In all the analysis that your majesty carried out, we could see that the being that was most powerful among all was Son Goku. So I have a mission to capture him. I think you better not want to do anything about it. At that moment, Goku starts to laugh and says, It won't stay that way. I won't let you capture me. I'm going to end you here now. Goku begins to fight with the unknown presence. The unknown being starts to dodge and says, I already said, this is the beginning of a war, and in a war, the fair does not always win. Goku doesn't understand what was happening. A dark energy surges over his body and makes him lose all his energies. Beerus weakened for some reason says, We have fallen into the enemy's trap. You planned all this, didn't you? Was this your trap? Goku loses his Ultra Instinct form and his body is sealed away. The unknown being says, Good, now we'll have to take Son Goku directly to another galaxy. If you want Son Goku back, they will have to enter this new celestial war. Your majesty is already setting accounts with a great priest. I hope you are lucky, my good friend Beerus. Beerus says, it seems that we are now in a life or death situation for all universes. Two presences appear on the planet Beerus. Gohan and Vegeta arrive on planet Beerus via Vegeta's teleportation. Gohan says, What happened to my father? Vegeta speaks, Where is Kakarot? I felt his energy moments ago and now it's gone. 
Beerus responds, We have a big problem. A new war is starting and Goku has been captured. We have fallen into the enemy's trap. Gohan gets angry and speaks up. That will not remain like this. No matter what, we will bring my father back. Vegeta starts laughing and says, A being that managed to capture Kakarot. This is amazing. Now I can show my superiority and my true Saiyan instinct. Whis watches and speaks. These Saiyans don't get along. As complicated as the situation is, they just want to show that they are more powerful. Beerus is forced to eliminate his entire race to save and bring balance to all universes. After the events have occurred and Goku is going through various complications, Goku is sealed away in an empty dimension by the gods of the past. Beerus on his planet starts talking to Whis, Gohan and Vegeta. Gohan wonders, who captured my father? My father became much more powerful. He is much stronger than before. How could this have happened? Vegeta says, Surely it is some being that has some kind of trick to have managed to do this. If we stop to think, several celestial beings keep appearing and wanting to destroy everything. Surely things can get more intense in the course of all this. At that moment, Vegeta observes and speaks. But apparently, Mr. Beerus and Mr. Whis know all the things that are going on. Beerus says, Well, I think you are Saiyans and are considered the warrior race that is the most powerful in this universe. They are considered to be those beings who possess the most intriguing power. But the big problem is that you don't know my race, the race of destruction cats. Gohan and Vegeta watch and say, what? Are you saying that you guys have something to do with what happened? Beerus says, Before you think about making any decisions, I will need to tell you everything that happened in the past. For you to have a sense of gravity and everything that is at risk before entering the battlefield, the true heavenly war, the real battle that ended up causing major complications in several races. Gohan and Vegeta are watching next to Whis. Millennia ago, Universe 15, the planet of the destructive cats. Beerus was next to his entire family. His race was very powerful. There was always a kind of tournament where everyone trained to see who would be the most powerful destruction cat. At that time, Beerus was talking to his father. I will be the strongest of all. Nobody will be able to defeat me. I will show my real strength and you will understand why I will emerge victorious in this tournament. Beerus since was a little prodigy of his race. Several other warriors of Beerus's race showed a great performance and we could see that the fights became more and more intriguing. Beerus during several tournaments was defeated. His own father who was the king of the planet of destruction cats showed a much higher performance until the moment when his father had very intriguing questions and said, Beerus, one day we will end up with everyone, unlike Saiyans from Universe 7 or other beings from any other universe. We have much more powers than any of them. We can end everything at any time. We can make this all different and dominate even those other heavenly beings. I'm sure that many other universes, even the other gods of destruction want to rebel against other celestial beings as well. But still what worries me is if we don't. Perhaps another war could be created because we have the greatest power. They would never accept that beings like the cats of destruction as well as the cold demons of Frieza's race would be considered such powerful beings. They don't accept it. We know that the supreme entity is the great priest. We can become the targets. Can you understand that, Beerus? You can see that our race being considered the most powerful of all the universes 
can be decimated by a celestial being that with just one attack can erase any universe, or even a horde of angels can want to destroy us. We need to resolve this. These were the ideals and thoughts of the king of the planet of Doomcats. Beerus's race, as powerful as it was, held an ideal that it could not be subjected to or questioned by any other race. Beerus grew up and matured and from hearing so much about the issues of destruction, Beerus started to get more and more powerful until the moment he learned the techniques of destruction like Hakai. What impressed several other gods, little by little, Beerus was gaining the fame of the destroyer cat due to several planets that defeated enemies at the behest of his father, the king of the planet of the cats of destruction. But he always wondered if this role was right. Until that moment, Beerus's father says, Beerus, you must become the strongest being and with that we will eliminate all other beings and then we will go after the celestial entities. Time passed and a new tournament on the planet of the cats of destruction took place. Beerus emerged victorious. Beerus says, Each time I manage to become more powerful, it seems that my energy is now capable of finishing anyone. Does that mean then that this is the power of destruction? But according to all the knowledge I have, I really need to bring balance and the way you want to do it is wrong. You want to end everything and everyone just to show supremacy. That is not the true power of a god of destruction. A destroyer must cause equilibrium so that further losses do not occur. Death is a path for everyone, but only a god can choose or let free will make mortals do their thing. At that moment, some mortals would want to attack the gods. This is not right. At that instance, Beerus's father and Beerus's race begin to turn against him. A great war begins. Beerus says, I don't want to hurt any of you. This cannot happen. Please stop. At that moment, Beerus's father says that he will destroy all other planets and that Beerus, willingly or unwillingly, will end all the other existences and that the end is near. At that moment, a huge explosion happens directly on the planet of the Cats of Destruction. Beerus starts crying. The Hakai's position is made. After the Hakai is performed, the entire planet of the Destroyer Cats and the entire race of Beerus is destroyed by Beerus. Beerus goes to Zenosama's palace. The great priest appears in front of him. To what do we owe his presence here, boy? What do you want to do? At that moment, Beerus says, I feel like I've been chosen as the destroyer. I am the true god of destruction and the strongest. I need you to elect me as the most powerful god of destruction. The great priest starts to smile and says, If what you say is really true, you will have to prove that you will bring balance. I could see that the breed of destruction cats no longer exists. You are quite ruthless, a being who had the courage to eliminate his own race. Could he bring balance? Do you really think about bringing balance to the world? But have you ever wondered that there are other races that also think the same thing? If you don't do something about them, or if a god of destruction doesn't do something about them, the other universes are in danger. So now you have a task, Beerus. Destroy all other beings that want to end the universal imbalance. Back to the current moments. Gohan asks, So that's how you became the god of destruction? Whis watches and speaks. A few more things happened, but what you need to know is that after millennia, from what we can tell, 
the entire race of Beerus is back and now they want revenge on all the gods of the past. The question is, how was it possible for them to return? Beerus makes a serious frown on his face and says, I know all too well how they behave in battle. They never learn. I had specific reasons for doing what I did. This time, it won't be at the Hakai base. We will fight to the end in hand-to-hand -hand combat. After the events of Goku being captured by the unknown being directly on the planet Beerus and Gohan and Vegeta discovering about the past of the race of Beerus the Destroyer and understanding about the race of the Destruction Cats. In an unknown galaxy, a great bang was taking place. Galaxy of Universe 15, the Galaxy of Despair. A being in chains was there. A great worry ended up occurring among all the universes. The unknown being says, Thanks to our trap, it wasn't too difficult to capture this guy. But I confess that his powers, if I had let him, could have been much more complicated. I believe that Saiyans in a melee fight have extraordinary powers, but when we talk about magical powers, they may not be able to contain that much. After all, they are the warrior race. At that moment, a being lying on the ground and chained starts to appear. He wonders, Where am I? How did I get here? Who put me here? Damn it. Mr. Beerus. Mr. Weiss. This couldn't have happened. I don't seem to feel the presence of any earthlings. It looks like this place is completely empty. What's going on here? The wind blows and the chained being turns out to be Goku. It seems that now the Saiyan of Universe 7 is in serious trouble. What will happen to Goku? At that moment, the unknown being appears and says, Does that mean you woke up, son Goku? So you are that Saiyan who managed to show a great performance in the Tournament of Power and then managed to raise your energy more and more. I mean, that's what your training resulted in and that's how you managed to show great skills. I could already suspect, but know that you'll still be useful to us. But first, you'll have to do some things we tell you to do. Chained Goku says, Who are you? You're crazy if you think I'm gonna do something for you. Just by feeling the energy, I realize that you are powerful, but you are not good people. I would never subject myself or stop helping my friends to help someone who was evil. When I get out of here, I promise I'll finish every one of you. The unknown being speaks. Well, it looks like these Saiyans don't really take it. It was much easier back in the day when they were just Frieza's minions. Frieza knew how to tame these animals. He knew how to take care of all this. But it seems that even this kid got rusty. I don't think we'll have much choice but the method of divine torture. Goku begins to receive several beams of light energy over his body, causing him to lose his stage of Ultra Instinct 2 that he had just discovered. Soon after, Goku is traumatized and says, What's up? In a few moments, a silhouette of a woman appears and says, Son Goku, now you will have to know the true power of a celestial entity. You will help us to end Zenosama and the Great Priest and those who are among the five most powerful in the universe. This is a matter of time. You will just have to be tamed. Goku observes and speaks. Who is talking? Who are you? Show yourself. At that moment, a beautiful woman with blue skin appears in front of Goku and says, I am the one who will make you change everything and see you wake up to the true reality. I am Zyros, the angel of Universe 15 who was previously erased by Zenosama. Goku says, What? Universe 7, Planet Beerus. Beerus says, I hope that after you found out that I wiped out my own race, you are aware of everything that is happening. 
probably from these six universes that were destroyed. All the gods of destruction and all the angels that are very angry with Zenosama are back, including the destroyer races that would be Frieza's race and also my race. So now you get a sense of what it's like to be in true chaos. Surely, Zenosama's palace could be under some threat soon. Some beings will still arrive here, only this time I can't feel the slightest bit of energy from Goku. I have no idea where he could be. Maybe we need to gather the Super Dragon Balls and try to understand what happened. Because all the other universes were revived, the real problem will be here now. We says, Sir Beerus, why are you having the reasoning to gather the Super Dragon Balls? There is a man who is the one who knows everything and that is where we must go. Beerus responds, so you say that the creator of the Oracle Fish is the true being who knows everything. Alright, let's go to Zuno. Everyone starts watching and Gohan says, I'm sure my father is very strong. He'll never give up in a battle. He will be able to resolve this whole situation. Mr. Vegeta, I think it's time for us to show the result of our real training. That training that is training capable of defeating anyone. Let's show our true strength now. The situation begins to become totally different. Many skills begin to be unveiled. Directly in Universe 15, Anja Zyro starts laughing. Chained Goku says, I don't know where you're seeing so much fun. I will get out of here and finish you off. Stop being cowards. I fell into your trap. Let me go and let's fight a fair fight. The angel Zyros comes close to Goku and makes Goku feel ashamed. Goku activates his Ultra Instinct stage and begins to dodge several attacks that the angel Zyros and the unknown being try to launch on him. Goku says, Even shamed, you won't be able to touch me. I managed to dodge thanks to the mastery of auto movement that was learned by Mr. Whis. At that moment, the angel Zyros starts to laugh and says, so you were trained by my brother Whis. I haven't seen him in a long time. Know that I am ten times more powerful than him, even though he uses Ultra Instinct. Goku is startled and speaks. What? This can only be a joke. She's saying she's more powerful than Mr. Whis. The angel Zyros teleports directly in front of Goku. Goku speaks. Damn, I let my guard down. At that moment, the angel Zyro says, Now you will receive my most powerful technique. The angel Zyro gets ready and gives Goku a kiss. Goku says, Why did you do that? An aura leaves Goku's body and enters Anja Zyro's body. Shortly after that, another aura is passed on to Goku's body. Goku says, What was this? At that moment, the angel Zyro speaks. Well done, Goku. You will need to help us in this celestial war. However, you will have to understand first what it was that caused all this war. Why even the angels want revenge against the great priest himself and against Zenosama himself. They are variants and questions that you will understand what happened or the whole truth about your race. Goku watches and speaks. What are you talking about? That's not possible. What happened to my race? Zyros responds. Don't you find it a bit strange to come to imagine that in such a short time when things used to happen, you were sent to Earth and right after you were sent to Earth, when you got older, your brother came along and started wanting to cause a great catastrophe at all. Don't you think it's a little weird that this happened, Goku? Can you understand now everything that was being developed? Goku doesn't understand and says, Come on, be more specific. Just say what you mean. Where are you going with all this? At that moment, some things start to change. Goku starts having hallucinations in his head. A small flashback is brought up. This small flashback that is shown in Goku's head begins to show the time when Saiyans ruled the planets. 
Goku watches and says, What? Where am I? At that moment, he sees the image of Beerus and soon after, he sees the image of his father and Frieza next to his father. Frieza is preparing to destroy everything. Goku says, What's happening? This isn't making any sense. What does my father have to do with all this? And why did Mr. Beerus know Frieza at this time? Zyro starts laughing and says, Get ready, Goku. You will discover the truth and who is the real villain of this story. Goku discovers the whole truth. Beerus was the one who ordered the elimination of his entire race. Goku discovers that Beerus ordered Frieza to destroy the Saiyan's planet. A great catastrophe really occurred after Goku received the kiss of death blow from the angel Zyros. Goku started to have several thoughts in his head. The angel Zyros says, Good, I think now you will understand that we are not real enemies, Goku. You will understand that you were the sin chosen to avenge your entire race. Initially, you had fought Frieza and everyone had thought that Frieza was the real boss of everything. But the enemy has always been on your side, training you and showing his real power. The real enemy is the destructive cat, Beerus. At that moment, Goku starts to say, I'm not understanding what's going on. Why am I having visions of a past I didn't live in? You mean this was me as a child and this will be my father and mother? Was this the Saiyan planet? But what is happening to me? This isn't making sense. You mean they all had something planned? I need to understand the situation more. But what is Sir Beerus doing next to King Vegeta? Did Mr. Beerus know King Vegeta? Now he's at Frieza's side. My father knew something was going to happen. The angel Zyros raises the frequency of the aura energy that was transplanted into Goku and says, Pay attention and really see what happens, son Goku. Planet Beerus. Beerus says, It feels like I'm feeling an energy light years away. It looks like the other six universes ended up returning. Whis, what do you have to say about it? Your brothers are now back. Can they really cause a major complication? I confess, I don't really know how we're going to deal with this. You are fully aware that if one of these beings end up showing their true powers and whoever is controlling Goku can cause a great catastrophe to be created. Are you aware of everything that can happen? In that instance, Whis watches and responds, Mr. Beerus, the great catastrophe is already created, but we don't have much more alternatives. Even though Gohan and Vegeta are here, they trained in the time room, but we will need to test their powers to see if they can really show something different and within this celestial war, we will have to gather the most powerful warriors in this universe. Even before we want to know about Lord Goku, I believe that a very catastrophic energy is taking over Zenosama's palace. For sure, a new battle is being created. Does my father need help or is he taking care of this whole situation? I confess that I am quite worried about this. Let's wait and see what will happen. Back in Universe 15, Goku starts having major pains in his head. Goku begins to see everything that has happened in the past. In a few moments, Goku closes his eyes and when he opens them, he finds himself in another scenario. The planet of the Saiyans. King Vegeta talks to Prince Vegeta. One day you will reign over all this, my son. One day our race will be the race that will have and will be the power of everything. We Saiyans, we have great potential. On the day you become the legendary Super Saiyan, we will wipe out Frieza and everyone else. Goku observes and says, Does that mean that was Vegeta's father? Was this the being that possessed great abilities and could defeat anyone? But he doesn't seem to have great fighting power. What is going on? Goku looks at a being that was totally like him. 
Goku says, That scar on his face. I'm sure that must be my father. He looks just like me. Just like Goten looked like me when I was a kid. So what does that mean? What's going to happen? My father seems to be more powerful than King Vegeta himself. Goku sees Bardock fighting several Frieza soldiers. Goku says, My father knew everything. My father knew who the real threat was. Does that mean he always imagined that Frieza could cause big problems? That doesn't make much sense. Does it mean that many battles could still be caused? But why these wars? If the Saiyans performed all of Frieza's tasks, why did Frieza really want to end it all? Frieza appears talking to Dodoria and Zarbon. Frieza says, Saiyans are very troublesome. Of course, I am the tyrant of the universe and I fear nothing. But one day, it was said that these primates can transform into an extremely powerful being. I'm not in the mood to cause big problems for the universe, so I need to nip this evil in the bud. After all, one day I will still want to become a god of destruction. And as a god of destruction, I can't let things fail. I need to pay close attention and see how we will solve all this. Goku starts to get more confused and says, Does that mean that Frieza already knew everything? He was performing this at the behest of someone. Goku sees his own image being reflected as a child. Bardock and Gine are sending Goku straight to Earth. Goku sees his farewell. Goku looks and speaks. It seems my dad always cared about me. If he hadn't done that, something worse could have happened to me. This really is amazing. Thank you so much, father. Large explosions begin to happen on planet Vegeta. Several Saiyans begin to be killed. Goku says, What is it? It cannot be. Like this? After the explosions happen, we can see that the worst starts to happen. Frieza and his entire army start killing Saiyans for Saiyans. Bardock is not satisfied and decides to challenge Frieza. Bardock tries to attack Frieza but he can't and through a great blow of destruction, Frieza eliminates the entire planet Vegeta. Goku is enraged to see Bardock and Gine being killed by Frieza. Goku says, Frieza, you were very cruel. I knew of your atrocities but I would never have imagined that you could do this, even to my race and my kin. After Frieza destroys the Saiyan planet, the angel Zyro says, Do you notice, Goku, all that happened now? Can you understand? Goku says, That's not possible. I can't believe this actually happened. Goku's body begins to collapse several times. Zyro says, but now you will have to see the real truth. Goku starts watching after the Saiyan planet has been eradicated and sees that Frieza goes directly to the planet of destruction. Beerus appears and speaks. Very well, you did what I actually ordered you to do. Now you can be considered the tyrant of the universe. You really want to surpass my powers, Frieza. You'll have to train light years from here. Goku sees and speaks. You mean that Sir Beerus ordered Frieza to eliminate the entire Saiyan planet? Zyro says, Exactly. Can you understand? Soon after would be Beerus' sleep. Beerus also feared that the Saiyan of his dreams would show up and end up wanting to steal his place from the God of Destruction. So Beerus would only train them so that they could get more powerful and while their sleep occurred, they would bring balance just on a simple whim of the God of Destruction. Can you understand the gravity of this situation, Goku? Goku starts to get angry and says, All these deaths, all this happened only because of Beerus. I can't believe it, but I can't let it happen. I will resolve this entire situation now, no matter what. Goku starts to have the image of his mother, Gine, in his arms and says, 
All of you could be alive if it weren't for the whim of the God of Destruction of Universe 7. Sir Beerus, you have to pay me back. This couldn't have happened. Goku starts to get angry and breaks the chains he was chained in. Zyro says, Very well. It looks like your power is really getting bigger. The unknown being from afar speaks. It seems that the power of the 15th Universe Angel remains the same. You mean a kiss managed to do that? Indeed, this is the true kiss of death technique, the creation of the reality of destruction. Let's see how far Goku can be controlled and how far he can hold out. Goku says, I need to calm down, but the only thing I know is that I will destroy all those who ended my race. Zyro says, Well done, Goku. So let's begin your destruction training. Goku had received the kiss of death technique from the angel Zyros and after that happened, Goku learned about everything that happened in the past of his race. Goku says, So it was Mr. Beerus who ordered my entire race to be wiped out. Why did he want this? All this to bring power and balance? This is very wrong. I could never go against Mr. Beerus, after all. The last time we fought, he almost destroyed the entire Earth. But for some reason, he decided to talk to Mr. Whis and he trained Vegeta himself. But I can't let that happen. You are not good either. What do you want from me? I need to get stronger to be able to control any of these things. How you want me to help in this celestial war, you will have to train me. At that moment, Angel Zyro starts to laugh and says, Anyway... You want to get more powerful than Beerus, don't you? Know that there are still other beings who will want to end everything. The other universes that returned, Beerus's own race and many other warriors will want to destroy everything. So you don't have much choice but to obey me, Goku. The unknown being that was there observes the angel Zyros and says, It looks like you're playing with fire. Zyros always wanted to cause this intrigue, didn't he? You want to make this Saiyan stronger. What is your real plan? It seems that even though he receives the kiss of death technique, he still manages to have some of his rationality. Let's take a good look at why things can get more and more complicated. We need to analyze. Some things can be a little more intense. Good. Let's see what will happen. At that moment, Zyros looks at Goku and says, Very good. You want to get stronger, isn't it, son Goku? Do you want to surpass the powers of your Ultra Instinct? Well then, now, you're all bruised. Let me heal your energy. Universe 15's Angel makes Goku's injuries heal. Zyro says, Looks like this outfit is all finished as well. Let's change these clothes. In that instant, in the snap of a finger, Zyros gives Goku a blue shirt and a yellow one. Goku sees and speaks, Wow, I've never worn an outfit like that. It's totally different from the clothes I got from Master Roshi. Zyros responds, you are now wearing the training outfit of the Universe 15 Angels. Now, we just have one task for you, son Goku. You want to get stronger, don't you? What you will have to do now is to fight one of the five most powerful in the universe. Goku is startled and speaks. What? It cannot be. Planet Beerus Gohan and Vegeta start to act after hearing everything that was being said by Beerus and Whis. Gohan says, Good, I think I already know what we need to do. Let's look for my father in these universes. Mr. Whis, can you help me as I don't have the teleportation technique like Mr. Vegeta? It would be interesting if each of us looked for other universes. If this has any further repercussions, it would be necessary for you to warn all the other warriors on Earth so that we can make an alliance with the other universes so that we can bring my father back. In that instant, Beerus watches and speaks. 
Now we need to analyze this situation. I myself will go directly to Zeno Sama's palace. I feel that the high priest or some other supreme being is there. Gohan begins to analyze the situation and says, Perhaps it would be interesting for us to go there to understand everything that is happening. Whis responds, You are all mistaken. Don't think we are the only ones who want to protect Zenosama. You have to understand this situation very well. Now we will go after Zuno, the one who knows everything. Come with me, let's all walk together. If a bigger enemy appears, we'll all need help. So we won't split up. At that moment, Whis creates the celestial cube and takes everyone to Zuno's palace. The one who knows everything. Upon arriving there, Gohan, Beerus and Vegeta are surprised to see Zuno's palace destroyed. Gohan asks, What happened to you? Who did this? Zuno watches and speaks. I thought you guys had beaten him, but somehow he's back by Goku Black side. Beerus remembers the Hakai he landed on Zamazu. Vegeta says, I'm pretty sure I beat that guy. Gohan watches and speaks. Who are you talking about? In the kingdom of Zuno, a voice arises and speaks. Saiyans, the Zero Mortal's plan still lives, and I will complete it now. Everyone is scared. Universe 15. The angel Zyro says, Exactly what you heard, Goku. You will have to fight one of the five most powerful in the universe. Goku observes and speaks. But who are you talking about? The angel Zyros replies. We're talking about Zyko, the Supreme Saiyan. In Universe 16, the mysterious being that was, the unknown being next to himself, Zyros says. This is quite a challenge for Son Goku. How could we imagine that he would be able to defeat him? Let's wait. At that moment, Goku speaks. If that's the power I need to get much more powerful and solve this whole situation, I will fight this guy. Zyro says, If I were you, I would pay close attention. You have no idea what the level of those who are among the five most powerful in the universe are. It doesn't matter who you fought, no matter what power or energy you've come to show, the strength of these guys is totally different than anything you've ever developed. Goku starts to laugh and speaks. It doesn't matter, I'm a Saiyan. This being you told me about, he's a Saiyan too, isn't he? So it doesn't matter. Somehow, I will emerge victorious in the face of it all. Goku asks Angel Zyros and the Unknown Being to take him to Universe 16. The Angel Zyros teleports Goku and the Unknown Being directly to Universe 16. A planet completely in ruins. Several bodies lying on the ground and completely dark sky. Goku says, What is this haunting place? What happened to this universe? It's totally different from Universe 15. It looks like it's a much darker place. The angel Zyro starts to laugh and speaks. You should know. I told you things would get very dark here. You need to understand. In this universe, it is considered as the universe of captivity. Any being that appears here is eliminated only by one man. One who is regarded as a lackey of the gods. Zyko, the ultimate Saiyan. Goku starts to get scared. A great energy surges over the Universe 16. A being with such energy appears and says, Let's see if we don't have a god of destruction, an angel and a mortal. I smell Saiyan blood. Is one of you three a Saiyan? It doesn't matter to me. Since they reach this universe, the three will be eliminated. A great pressure of energy is released on the angel Zyros and on the unknown being. 
Goku stops the pressure of energy that is released on the two at that instant. Goku says, So you must be Zyko, right? Goku activates his Ultra Instinct and speaks. Before you want to end up with the God of Destruction or an Angel, you will have to finish me first. That is, if you can. Zyko starts laughing and says, Then that's it. You must be mad that you came to challenge me. Let's dance. Goku and Zyko are facing each other. One of the five most powerful warriors in the universe appears in front of Goku in Universe 16, the universe known as the Carnage of the Gods. That Supreme Saiyan who can finish off anyone who appears in his universe. In the past, Universe 16 was considered as the destroying universe of the gods. Only when someone was punished and punished for a heavenly crime was he sent for possible redemption. But this redemption was only possible if the being that was thrown into Universe 16 managed to get out alive. Nobody ever managed to get out of this place alive because whoever was there was the Supreme Saiyan who was among the five most powerful in the universe, who had already waged several battles against the Great Priest. His name was Zyko, that Saiyan who wore a greenish outfit with whitish hair and black cracks on his face. His power was far greater than that of a god of destruction. After the angel Zyros appeared and began to tell Goku about the truth of the Saiyans and reveal everything about what had happened, the angel Zyros takes Goku alongside the Unknown Presence directly to Universe 16, saying that this would be the training that Goku would have to perform in order to become more powerful. The Battle of Goku vs Zyko, one of the five most powerful in the universe, begins. Goku in Universe 16 says, It means then that you are the one who wants to overcome everything and everyone. Don't you think I'll go easy on you? I'm not afraid at all. After all, if you manage to get strong this way, it's because you're a Saiyan. Know that I am too. At that instant, a shudder begins to occur within Universe 16. Zyko teleports behind Goku and says, you literally don't know who you're messing with, Saiyan. That will be your end. The battle begins. Goku raises his power directly to Ultra Instinct, while Zyko starts checking his ability and says, Even as a Saiyan, it's surprising that you can raise that power so high. Surely you must have had some angelic training. Looks fantastic. So does that mean that in Universe 7, there were such powerful Saiyans? Good. This is getting to be fascinating. So I'm going to have to raise a little bit more of my strength with you. Zyko raises his key infinitely. The other universes begin to shudder. Directly in Universe 7, everyone starts to realize that a Big Bang light years ago was happening. Krillin, alongside the other Z warriors on Earth, watch and speak. It feels like I feel Goku's energy from light years away. But at the same time, I can feel a power of a Saiyan that is much higher. Palace of Zuno, the one who knows everything. Everyone wonders where the voice that spoke of the Zero Mortals plan had come from. Everyone asks for more answers. Vegeta, Gohan, Beerus and Whis arrive at Zuno's palace and everyone feels the great energy that was being released there. At that moment, we can see that a great battle was about to begin. Beerus starts asking Zuno several questions. Zuno started making puns saying that so he could answer. Everyone would have to figure out the riddles he told. Beerus points as if to perform a Hakai directly on Zuno and speaks. We don't have time for Zuno pranks. I need you to help me right now. We are talking about the face of the universe. We starts to laugh and says, Don't be so rude, Sir Beerus. Zuno is also a celestial being and he's only doing it because it's his duty. Let's unravel his riddles.
directly to Universe 16. Goku begins to have great difficulties fighting Zyko. Zyros observes and speaks. It seems to me that Goku thought it would be easy to fight one of the five most powerful in the universe. When last year the heavenly war had been created, we can see that many things had happened differently and so the real skill that has been shown about them. We think about many things. We need to really try to understand how strong Zyko has become since that time. If Goku will really be able to fight or if we'll have to discard him for the next celestial war. The unknown being says, Again you with these thoughts of yours, Zyros. You know very well that you would have to train this Saiyan in a totally different way. It seems that you already want to throw him directly on a path to be killed by the beings that appeared. You are very funny, but let's analyze very well everything that will happen. I'm sure one of these two won't be able to stand up after this battle, and it doesn't look like Zyko. Zyko begins to raise his powers more and more, and the power of the nascent Uzaru begins to rise over Zyko, but at the same time, a power of darkness begins to combine with his strength. True strength begins to show. Everyone starts to understand. The true power is being revealed. The real energy is starting to develop. Goku starts to build up his strength because he knows that if he misses a move, he can be killed. His energy was starting to rise alongside Zyko's great energy. Goku tries to unleash several attacks on Zyko, but still he can't land any hits. It seemed like Zyko was always one step ahead of Goku. Zyko starts throwing several blows at Goku until the moment Goku falls to the ground. Zyko prepares to deliver the final blow. At that moment, the angel Zyro says, Good. Looks like it didn't work. I really believe that Son Goku could do something different, but it's really going to stay that way. Zuno's Palace after Zuno told everyone the whole truth, everyone starts to be shocked to see that the real enemies had made an alliance and all the universes were in great danger. Gohan says, It seems that the threat is much greater than we thought. This time the threat is universal. It appears that all universes will have to face great battles in my father's absence. We are really going to need to protect the earth. A great boom erupts on Earth in Universe 7. Whis and Beerus say, Looks like you're going to have to resolve this situation before you go back in search of Goku. Gohan says, Come on, Sir Vegeta, Earth needs us. A dark being very similar to Vegeta with body hair appears on the ground and starts talking. So this is the Earth of Universe 7. Is this where the most powerful warriors in this universe exist? Very interesting. The time has come to end everyone here. Come on, now is the time. The being begins to destroy practically the entire universe. The Z warriors appear, but the Z warriors end up getting a beating from the dark being. Gohan and Vegeta arrive on Earth after seeing everyone fallen to the ground. Gohan starts to smile and says, You seem to be very strong, managed to cause a major catastrophe in the midst of it all. But it doesn't matter. We were already waiting for you. That will be your end. A massive attack is launched at Gohan and Vegeta. The two are paralyzed and say, What is it? The being of darkness says, Does that mean that Saiyans believe they could do something against me? I will finish you now. Back to Universe 16, Goku lying on the ground becomes very weak and starts to reflect. If it really goes on like this, I am finished. This angel from Universe 15 doesn't care about me, and this unknown being, I don't even know why he's watching this battle. If this really goes on like this, that will be the end of me. I need to think about what to do soon. Goku tries to activate Level 2 Ultra Instinct. 
However, when Goku raises his power, his energy is drained. Zaiko observes and speaks. It's no use trying to raise your power so much. Your energy is very pure. Within this universe, all the energy that is combined with the energy of an angel ends up being drained. You would need to have at least a little power of destruction to be able to raise your full strength. So that won't do much good. That will be your end, Goku. At that moment, even with the Ultra Instinct disabled, Goku tries to land several attacks on Zaiko. Zaiko starts to dodge and laugh and says, It looks like it's really good to play with another Saiyan. I swear that I will leave this universe to be able to end the beings that are among the most powerful. The great priest is still around, isn't he? I can feel his energy from light years away. Well, it doesn't matter. That will be your end, Goku. Zaiko launches Goku to the outskirts of Universe 16. The angel Zyro says, It looks like it didn't do any good. I think it's time to get out of here. Goku is just junk, by the way. At that moment, Goku begins to raise a great energy and a destructive power begins to be created. The entire planet begins to shake. Zaiko is impressed at that moment. Goku prepares to launch a massive blow at Zaiko and dodges. However, Goku manages to hit him in the face. Zaiko is knocked away. Goku at that moment falls to the ground and starts breathing heavily. Zaiko appears again and says, How dare you? Who do you think you are? Zaiko prepared to land the final blow on Goku. A new presence appears. A voice arises and speaks. Don't you think you can attack the mortal from Universe 7? After all, he's from my brother's planet. And if my brother can't help, I'm here to save this mortal. Furious Psycho says, Who is talking? A faint, unfamiliar smile appears. To be continued. Oh, my partner, it seems that now the battles are going to get much, much more intriguing. Who came to save Goku? Regardless of what it is, it's more than important that you share your thoughts in the comments below so that we can get into a crazy debate. Click on that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any videos. That's all there is to it. I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.